This week, scientists at the Large Hadron Collider announced they'd found the tiny particle. So small, so invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> so this week... <laughs> so this week, make up your own jokes about the Holmes boson. It's... <laughs> it's John Holmes! <laughs> Thanks very much. So let's, um, you just heard that music there. Let's listen to a bit of that introduction music again. Now, in case you don't recognise this, OK, this is the epically proportioned cacophony of enormous noise, right? What it, it isn't, as you might think, the sound of an orchestra falling down some stairs. Right? But what it is, is the official single of the Olympics, right? This is called Survival. It's the work of the band Muse. Three men from Devon who think if a job's worth doing, then it's worth throwing a hand grenade into a music cupboard and recording the results. <laughs> and it also helps if you've got a holy chorus of angels on speed dial and have taken the bold decision to eschew the sound of a drum kit and replace it with the noise of a rhino knocking a wall down. <laughs> and relax. I think that what's happened there, right, is that being from Devon, they've only recently discovered electricity, so... <laughs> They've sort of gone overboard on the stuff and are audibly binging on it, stuffing sound into our ears like a fatty gorging on a music pie. But get used to that noise, all right? Get used to it, because as the official sound of the Olympics, it's going to be played, quote... Whenever the athletes enter the stadium, in the lead-up to the medal ceremony, and it will be the theme for all international TV coverage. And it's this, right, this. It's like listening to a war, right? A sonic burst like Satan himself has burped, and has it amplified throughout the Earth's core, and it's all you'll hear for two Olympic weeks, but it's just too epic. It's the very epitome of a song where your dad comes into your bedroom and shouts, Turn it down! <laughs> this noise is ridiculous! You can't even understand the words! <laughs> this song is simply too big! And he's right! It's too big for the Olympics, it's far too massive for anything or anyone made of lycra. This is wasted on the entrance of athletes, boring old athletes. It belongs in a stadium, yeah, but a stadium where legions of marching 12-foot-tall robots with laser fists, whatever laser fists are, come screeching down from the sky in flaming chariots on wings of devastation. This is a song I want to hear when the world ends, when the sun melts and the seas boil and the mountains crack and the very sky is torn asunder. This is the last thing I want to hear with my dying ears as mankind plunges into the abyss and is lost in the moor of his own destruction! 